After updating the software, you will still need to perform separate actions to update your database. This update procedure consists of three parts. First is installing the update database, then importing the update database into your working database, and finally performing append. In a multi-user environment, updating a database directly via the server will be extremely slow due to additional network traffic. To speed things up, we strongly recommend to do the update locally. By this, you need to copy the update database and also your working database from the server to your local hard drive. This way, Simapro software, your working database, and the update database should all be on the same machine. Please make sure that no users are logged into the database when you copy the database. You can check this by logging in as manager and go to Tools, User Management. If you already had direct access to the machine where the software and the data is installed, then you can skip copying these files from the server. Please keep in mind that the whole update process can take a lot of time, even up to 6 hours, depending on the size of the database and your computer specifications. Therefore, patience is required and it is advised to also coordinate this internally within your team. Cancelling or aborting the update process is not recommended as it risks to damage your database. Let's begin with installing the update database. Download the suitable instruction according to which update you need to perform. In the first part of the video, it was already explained that the update manual is meant to cover the data gap between one version only, while the full update manual carries out the accumulative update at once. As an example, in this case we want to go from Simapro 9.3 to Simapro 9.4, thus we select the update manual. Download the Setup Update Database Installer. Once the download is finished, double-click the installer. Make sure Simapro is closed while performing this action. Select the language you want to use during the installation, and then follow the instruction in the Setup Wizard. Make sure to also have your Simapro registration name and code at hand. Simapro will pick up this directory as the default location for the database, except you choose another location. If you want to save it on a different location, click Browse and then choose the folder where you want to save the database. Since we recommend doing the database update locally, the update database doesn't have to be installed in one of the locations defined in the Simapro database server. Instead, you can save it on your local hard drive. You have now successfully installed the update database. Installing this update database only will not bring any effect to your data. Changes can only take place after you import this database into your working database, which would be the next step after installing the update database. Further instructions for this will be explained in the part 3b, importing the update database. Once the update database is installed, it needs to be imported to your Simapro database to make it available in your own database. Start by opening the database you want to update via a local server. If the database is not yet opened, browse to the location of the database and click Open. If you haven't yet copied the database to a local path, you first need to do this since we strongly advise to do the update locally. When doing so, make sure there are no other users using the database at that moment because the database will become unavailable during import and users won't be able to log into Simapro. After that, click File, Import Simapro Database. Click Yes to continue. The following Import Simapro Database dialog box will appear. Click Browse. The update database should appear in the dialog box. If you don't see this, browse to the location where you have previously installed the update database. Once you have found the database, click OK. On the update database, click Open. 
You will then see all libraries that will be imported. Select the libraries you want to import. Alternatively, you can just click Select All to select all libraries. Finally, click Import. The data will be scanned and an overview of all the data that are added or replaced will be generated. It is recommended to save this overview for your own browser. Depends on the amount of libraries that will be imported, this process can take quite some time. Once the scanning process is finished, Simapro will prompt to make a backup of your current database. Click OK and then select the folder where you want to save your backup file. After creating the backup, Simapro will proceed to the import process. The update database will be imported into your existing database. Please keep in mind that this step can take a lot of time, even up to a few hours, depending on the size of the database as well as the specification of your machines. Simapro may seem unresponsive, especially when it reaches 96%, but actually, it is working really hard in the background to perform the update. Please be patient throughout the process as supporting the operation and forcing Simapro to shut down can risk corrupting your database. After importing the update database, you can do a quick check to see if the update has been successfully completed by checking a library description of the library that was updated. For example, in this case, we import an update database that contains a newer version of AgriFootprint. You can then go to the AgriFootprint libraries under the library project, and you should now see that you have agri Footprint 6 economic allocation. After you have successfully imported the update database, the next step is to perform append. This step is intended to convert some old substance names to the latest substance naming in Simapro. If you don't do this, some mismatches between lifecycle inventory and impact assessment data may occur, which will lead to incorrect LCA results. To perform open action, first go to Substances under the General Data in the LCA Explorer screen. Then click Append. A window will appear. Click Load and select the Append Excel file. You can find this file in the same folder where you have previously installed the update database. After selecting the append Excel file, a list of substances that are going to be replaced will then be shown. Click OK and then click append to continue. If you don't see any data loaded for replacement, it means that your database is up to date. Simapro will then make a backup once again. After the final confirmation appears and the backup is created, the substances will be appended. Depending on the size of your database, this may take quite some time as well, so we recommend you to wait patiently. Now you have successfully carried out the append step. After successfully imported the update database into your working database, you can delete this update database installer and also the installed update database to free up some storage and to avoid confusion. Please always check and make sure that there are no projects created in this library accidentally before deleting the update database. Finally, after following the whole complete procedure of database update, what changes can we expect? First, library processes used in your project will be updated. For example, the older Equinvent version will be replaced by the newer Equinvent version. For custom processes, links to library processes will automatically be updated to the newer version of the dataset in most cases. The rest remain unchanged. The Simapro default impact assessment methods will be automatically updated or replaced by the newer version given that you don't change the name of the method. Meanwhile, Custom impact assessment methods will remain unchanged. Appending substances will merge two synonymous substance names into one and will potentially change the result if the final substance is used in the impact assessment method. Lastly, 
If you have defined users and user profiles in your database, this will remain intact after the update. Overall, after a database update, you will most likely expect some changes in the results due to changes in the library data and or impact assessment methods used. At this point, you have completed the compulsory steps of the entire CMAPRO update. However, since this update contains a newer version of AgriFlipping library that doesn't replace the previous AgriFlipping 5 data automatically, you may need to perform an additional step, which is updating AgriFlipping 5 links in your projects to the newer version. This will be explained in the part 4 of this video series.